In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Discord bot within 10 minutes. This is the first video of the series, so consider subscribing so you can follow along. Without further ado, let's get right into coding the Discord bot. You're going to need to download two processes for this to work. The first one is the JavaScript run program, which is node.js. Uh, so just click the link in the description and download the recommended for most users one. The second thing you're going to need to download is what you're actually going to be coding in. So that is Visual Studio Code. So just download for Windows, stable build, this is fine. Uh, download that. And once you've downloaded both Node.js and Visual Studio Code, then you will be ready to code your Discord bot. Once you've downloaded both Node.js and Visual Studio Code, you're going to want to click the next link in the description, which is Discord Developer Portal, or you can just search that in Google, which is, again, Discord Developer Portal. You're going to want to make a new application. Um, name this whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it. Uh, we're going to name it Tutorial Bot. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to give your description. You're going to want to fill in all this information. Do whatever you need to do here um add a add a icon which i mean this this part doesn't really matter but i would recommend filling in a description this bot is here to mod help all right so then we can save changes uh so then you're going to go over to bot and you're going to click add a bot so then click yes do it um so you're going to click tutorial bot you can um add a icon if you would like um, now, this is extremely important. If you do not do this, your bot will not turn on. So you're going to go to uh, right below these these two. Um, and you're going to go to presence intent and server members intent. And you're going to select them both on. If you don't do this, your bot will not turn on. So make sure to do this. After selecting these two permissions, you're going to want to go ahead and navigate over to this tab and find your client ID. So go ahead and copy this client ID and then search in Google Discord permissions calculator, just like that. Click the first link and then all you have to do is click the administrator button, paste your client ID right here and then click this link. Now that you've clicked the link, go ahead and add the bot or select the server you want to add the bot to and then hit continue, then just authorize it and verify that you're a human and then as you can see it has authorized it and your bot is now in the discord as you can see right here the tutorial bots i'm here to mod and help all that stuff in in here as you can see this is by the way not my actual account um so i'm using this account for the purpose of the video anyways um as you can see the bot is actually offline there's no code if you try to run a uh, command it's not going to run because there's no code. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to go ahead and start coding. Okay, so to do this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to right click on your desktop, make a new folder, and you're going to name this whatever you whatever your bot name is, whatever you want to name it. So test bot. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and open the folder. Click in the top bar right here. If you're on Windows 10, you should be able to find it as well. And then just search CMD. That will open up the command prompt, and from now on, we're going to start uh, downloading some stuff that we need to uh, run the coding for Discord. Remember, you must have Node.js and Visual Studio Code installed on your PC for this to work, so if you haven't already, go do that. Mention that in the start. Here we go. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to do npm in i, or npm install, I'm just going to do i, discord.js, hit enter. That will install as soon as that finishes you will see uh this right here if you refresh your folder the package and package lock will be uh right here all right so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do npm init click enter and this is going to make your project so the package name test bot that's correct version you can basically just skip through all of this um get repository you don't need any of this keywords nothing author if you want you can add a name um License, yes, is that okay? Just type yes and hit enter. Now, if we reload this, you're going to notice that nothing has changed. However, we have created um, everything that is necessary to make your Discord bot. So, what you're going to do now is you're going to do a command called code space dot and then click enter. 
and doing that will open up Visual Studio Code. So once it's opened, you may need to just accept the folder, um, but it didn't show up for me, so you might have to just click accept. Um, but now we can go ahead and start. So at the top here, there is a new file button. Go ahead and click that and name it index.js. All right, so now once we're in our index.js, we are ready to start coding. Okay, so just follow along to the best of your abilities. Make sure you get every single thing correct, because if you don't get it correct, uh, the bot will not turn on. So feel free to pause the video and make sure you have everything correct um, as you go along and code this. Uh, but we're just going to be doing some simple code to make the bot turn on and then a simple test command in this video. And then in the next video, we'll go over a very basic command handler and some more um, basic commands. Um, and then we'll do some more advanced commands off of that. So here we go. What we're going to want to do is we're going to type const discord equals require. And then discord.js. We're going to go out here, semicolon, enter, const prefix equals. So this is going to be the prefix of your bot. So you can make this whatever you want. Um, but know that um, if you're going to do a command, that's going to be the thing that comes first. So that would be like the exclamation mark test. That's that's the prefix right there. So just uh, keep that in mind as we uh, continue. So I'm just going to make mine exclamation mark, semicolon. So now this is a part you got to pay attention here. Const client equals new discord dot client. Um, we'll open that up aloud mentions. We're going to go ahead and do parse. And then we'll do users, get out of here, comma, roles. Make sure you add a comma after that, otherwise it will not allow you to do any more. Applied user, true. Um, and then after that, we're going to hit, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a comma right here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do intents. Open, uh, intents, okay. Just like that, open that up. So we're going to do all capitals, by the way, guilds, comma, outside of the quotation marks, guild messages, oops, I forgot to put quotation marks, guild messages, guild presences, guild members, and lastly, guild message reactions, comma. And we're going to do a comma right here as well. Um, and then you should be good. Just go ahead and add a semicolon right there. And then control save to save the project. Always do control save once you're done coding a chunk of code. Otherwise, it will not save. Make sure to do that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do clients dot on ready in the quotation marks comma empty uh parentheses right there equals open that up again we'll do console dot log so this is what the console is going to say when the bot is turned on so we'll just do bot is online all right so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to make sure we can get the token in here so this will allow this code to go into the Discord bot. So we're going to do client.login and then quotation marks. All right, go back to the Discord developer portal. Go back to the bot that you just created. Go to bot, the bot category, and go ahead and click reset token. Yes, do it. If you have 2FA, you're going to need to put in a code. So once you've reset the token, you're going to get this token here. Do not share this with anybody. Otherwise, they'll be able to ac access your bot, turn it into a raid bot, do whatever they want with it. So just don't share this token. I'm going to reset the token at the end of the video. So go ahead and copy the token. Go back into Visual Studio Code and then paste the token in between the quotation marks. Save the project. Open up a new terminal because now we're going to be able to turn the bot on. So click new terminal right here. And this is how you turn the bot on. So you're going to do node space dot. Hit enter. And then you'll see that the bot is online. It will say that right there. If we head back over into the Discord server, we can see that the tutorial bot is online. So that is good. We have set the bot up. So now I'm just going to go over a very, very basic command um, that you guys can do. This is 
pretty much going to be a basic command handler, but I'll do a more in-depth video on that later. So right below the client dot on, we're going to go ahead and do our command handler. So we're going to do client dot on. This is basically going to allow you to make commands. So we're going to do message. Outside of that, we're going to do message again. Uh, we're going to open this up. We're going to do if message dot content dot starts with prefix, which we made up here. Um, then we're going to do, we're going to go over here. Um, the two line things we're gonna do um all right message dot author dot bots and then right outside of that we will do return semicolon right there uh, remove that space save your work please i don't want you guys losing anything because you didn't save it all right const args equals message dot content dot slice prefix dot length Outside of that, we're going to do dot split. We're going to do slash plus slash again, semicolon. Right below that, we're going to do const command equals args dot shift uh, parentheses dot two lower case, more parentheses, and um, go ahead and close that off. So let me just fix that. Save your work. And then we're done with the command handler. So right below that, we can do a test command all right so here's what you're going to do this is a very basic test command just copy this code and that way you can have a very basic command to start off so what we're going to do is we're going to do if command equals test open that up message dot channel dot send and then right here we can paste or put whatever you want your bot to say when you do the test command so for me, I'm just going to say, the bot is currently working properly. Alright, so then save my work, and we're going to do control c in the terminal, and do node space dots. That will turn the bot online, or basically reset the bot. And we can try it, this test command again, and as you can see, the bot is currently working properly. It said it right there. Just for reference, if I wanted to change this to... Um, I don't know. Oops. Alright, let's say I wanted to change this to subscribe to Mr. J. Awesome. Save that. Control C, no space dots. Then we can try the command again. There you go. So that's basically how you do very simple commands right there. Uh, question and answer commands. Um, that's how you do it. So you guys can play around with that, but... Uh, yeah, that's basically how you code a Discord bot um, in 2022 with Discord.js. If this worked for you and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If it didn't, uh, just comment down below and I should be able to help you with it. And yeah, subscribe because the next video I'll be going over more in-depth commands and a command handler. Um, and then I'll be doing band kick and warn commands, echo commands, welcome and leave commands, all that stuff in the future of the series, so make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.